Would you please rise, remove your hats, and remain standing for the presentation of the colors by the McMinnville High School, or excuse me, McMinnville Police Department Color Guard and the singing of the national anthem by the Symphonic Choir under the direction of Mrs. Robin Peterson. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still. You may be seated. Thank you. Good evening, McMinnville, and to the following groups and guests. Superintendent Dr. Mary Alice Russell, School Board Vice Chairperson Dr. Scott Gibson, and board members Stan Primazich, Dr. Scott Schieber, Janice Breach, Larry Vollmer, and Barbara Carter. What a beautiful evening, another beautiful evening, for a graduation ceremony here in McMinnville. The staff of McMinnville High School welcomes you to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2014, the 104th graduating class of McMinnville High School. Congratulations to the following staff members who are with us this evening and we're retiring at the end of this school year. When I call your name, I'd like you to please stand. We have a special recognition for you. Marie Williams, Ann Koch, Kendra Vogie, Carla Ephraimson, Janet Fisher, Carolyn Nyquist, and Chris McCoy. These seven staff members have touched the lives of thousands of McMinnville High School students over the years and have had a profound impact on our school. We'd like to offer congratulations to each of you and thank you for your commitment to McMinnville High School and of course to our kids. Best wishes in your retirement from all of us. Congratulations go out to the class of 2014 for earning the right to be here this evening. Tonight, we'll graduate 421 students. They'll cross the stage, the largest group to do so in our school's history. Congratulations, Congratulations to your academic successes. I'd like to invite members of the audience to take a look at the program this evening in the section titled, Listing of Sources of Scholarship, Grant, and Aids. Members of this class have earned to date $3,861,344 in scholarships, grants, and awards. Congratulations to each one of you. Congratulations to the scholars in your class. Tonight, will graduate nine valedictorians, those with a perfect 4.0 GPA, and I'd like to introduce them to you now. Dakota Bueller, please stand. Jordan Ferry. Brayley Connie. Jim, I think we have some feedback. There we go. 
Nathan Lossman, Wesley Noble, Molly Olson, Erica Sato, Robert Thomas, and Lauren Orvay. Congratulations to the nine of you. In addition, we have 13 salutatorians. Those are students whose weighted grade point average is above four point. I'd also like to introduce them at this time and please stand. Paige Autry, Nathan Clevenger, Stephen Gilliatt, Kelsey James, Alexander Justice, Michelle Kim, Nicholas McDaniel, Emily Neal, Maggie Ng, Jacob Porter, Grant Rubedo, Morgan Schoenthal, and Jacinda Swagger. Congratulations. You may be seated. 57 members of your class tonight will be receiving the honors diploma and another 234 will graduate with a career pathway endorsement. 97 members, the most ever in our school's history, will graduate tonight with the honor cord, signifying they've graduated with a 3.5 grade point average or higher. And 110 members of this class will have graduated earning 24 or more college credits while attending McMinnville High School. In fact, members of this class will have earned tonight 6,176 total credits, likely the most college credits earned by any high school in the state of Oregon. Congratulations. Three particular individuals are recognized this evening as top dual credit achievers, and I'd like them to stand to be recognized for their hard work. Alexander Kuhn will graduate with 74 college credits tonight. Arissa Larme will graduate with 77 college credits, and Eric Rodriguez tops out with 80 college credits. Congratulations, you three. Congratulations go out to this year's outstanding boy and girl selected by the staff at McMinnville High School. They best exemplify the ideals of character, scholarship, and service. And they are, the outstanding girl is Erica Sato, and the outstanding boy is Grant Rubedo. Congratulations to you two. This year, the staff also selected two individuals for the Academic Excellence Award and the Professional Technical Excellence Award. Those are students who have outstanding academic performance and have been involved in activities throughout their school career. Maggie Ng is our Professional Technical Excellence Award winner. Congratulations, Maggie. And Molly Olson is our Academic Excellence Award winner. Congratulations to both of you. Now, throughout your high school career, many of you have rang the Salvation Army bell for these past four years. I know as a school we collected over 200 pints of blood and saved the lives of over 600 individuals. This year, the Dornbecker Club at McMinnville High School donated over $38,000 in support of Dornbecker's Children's Hospital and crowned another Mr. Mackay. In fact, Mr. Mackay came from this class, Grant Rubedo, as did Mr. Congeniality, Robbie Thomas. The two of you, please stand. You also collected over 12,500 pounds of food to support the needy in our family, or it could have been to get that extra hour-long lunch you got right before winter break, right? And of course, you volunteered countless hours of support to our community throughout your four years. Five members of the class have played very significant leadership roles at McMinnville High School through their ASB or class office positions, and I'd like to recognize them for their hard work this year. Uh, Nathan Lossman, our ASB president, please stand. Jordan Rosenberry, ASB vice president. Lucy Belleville, ASB secretary. Jason Lee, filled in ASB secretary. And Serengeti Savage, senior class president. Congratulations to the five of you. <laughs> Through the efforts of these students, McMinnville High School's leadership program was recognized with the National Gold Council of Excellence Award one of only four high schools in the state of Oregon to receive the award. And I want to thank each and every one of you for your hard work in obtaining that status. 37 members tonight, are me or 37 graduates tonight, are members of the National Honor Society. 44 are recognized as OASSA Scholar Athletes. 36 are 36, or 36 activity scholars. And 18 McMinnville High School teams qualified for playoff action. That's every single sport 
sanctioned by the OSAA that we participate in, qualified for an individual or as a team in state competition. That's the first time that's happened in over a decade at McMinnville High School. Congratulations. <laughs> 33 members of the class are recognized as either all league or all state recognition. And in fact, one member of your class, JT Barnes, is this year's state champion wrestler at 152 pounds. JT, stand up. Congratulations, JT. It's been quite a successful year at McMinnville High School, and we're all proud of you. Finally, I'd like to offer some special thanks to some of our senior parents, and especially to Heidi Markham, and Shauna Pilcher, Heather Adams, uh, Dewina Woldridge, Ann Lane, Janelle Suarez, and Peg Bannister, and the chairs of tonight's grad night committee, Audrey Primrose and Teresa Butler. These parents have donated hundreds and hundreds of hours in preparing for tonight's grad night activity for the class of 2014. I want to personally thank you very much. Through your efforts, all of our kids will be a little safer this evening on this graduation night. In closing, In closing, members of the class of 2014, it's been, a, it's been a great experience for me personally to be a part of your senior year. Not only as your high school principal, but of course as a dad of a member of your class. It's been amazing to watch each and every one of you grow up over these last 13 years of school to the, become the fine men or outstanding young men and young women that you've become. All of us here tonight are very proud of you. We all want to offer you congratulations. Most important tonight, we want you to have an exciting evening as a senior, but of course we want you to be safe because tomorrow we want you to wake up in your bed being safe and being a alumni of McMinnville High School. Congratulations, have a great evening. The band will now play a piece entitled Dies Festus, which if I remember my high school Latin correctly, is Festival Day. I can't think of a more appropriate title.
It appears that I uh, jumped the gun a little bit, but good evening. Parents, friends, faculty, and most importantly, graduates, welcome. I hope you're as excited as I am for today. It goes without saying that this evening is one of the most important of our lives. It's a momentous occasion and is treated as such. We have parades, assemblies, recognitions, and parties. So many parties. Many people will tell us that in the big picture, four years is insignificant. While the time does move quickly, it doesn't mean it's worthless. The four years we have spent here, the four years we conclude tonight, are some of the craziest, most tumultuous years of our lives. And, as I've been reflecting upon my time in high school, I find that change is really the only constant. Tonight, I will focus on three things about our experience here. The past, the future, and the lessons. Like many of you, I entered McMinnville High School as a nervous and unsure freshman. But probably unlike you, I had moved here just a couple weeks before. I had no idea what to expect, and I knew nobody. For the first couple weeks of school, nobody really talked to me. As you might imagine, it was pretty awful. But eventually, I made friends. Though looking back, I find that none of the people I spent time with freshman year are really in my life today. I bet that for many of you, it's a similar story. As we work through high school, friends come and friends go. We laugh, argue, cry, fight, and love our friends, and grow as a result of spending time with each of them. We change as individuals, and so too do our friends. But the differences from freshman year aren't just about the people we choose to be around. They're everywhere around us. Four years ago, we were terrified of the tardy sweeps by campus security. Today, our teachers are lucky to see us once a week. Four years ago, our classes were easy and we never did homework. Today, our classes are hard and we still never do homework. Maybe we used to be afraid of, the, of talking to the people around us in our classes, and now everyone knows our names. We used to be stuck at school all day, even during lunch, and now many of us only have a couple classes. During the homecoming assembly, we once watched as the intimidating mob, covered in black, screamed from across the gym floor. And just a few months ago, that was us. We are no longer timid and scared freshmen. We have grown into the seniors we once admired and had one hell of a journey. But this only leads us to the future. So, what now? You might be college bound, going into the workforce or the military, doing something different, or you might just not know. Regardless of what's in the plans today and what you're certain you want to do or not, it's important to remember that the future is always unknown. I experienced this firsthand not long ago. This past winter, I applied to eight top colleges. Some were Ivy Leagues, some not. Being the most selective in the nation, I wasn't insane enough to believe that I'd get into all or even most of these schools, but I certainly was not prepared for the eight denial letters I received. <laughs> for weeks, I was in a state of mental shock. I desperately searched for some sort of explanation, an error on the application, a mix-up with my transcript, anything, anything at all. But nothing was wrong except the outcome. Although I had a backup plan for this exact scenario, something didn't feel right to me. I sat and thought about everything for incredible lengths of time. At first, I felt hopeless. My plan had always been to go to college right after high school, 
and I saw no other options. But then, with time, right after, or, but then with time, my perspective changed. I began to think about this failure as an opportunity to do something I would have never considered before. My best friend and partner in crime, Jordan Rosenberry, invited me, invited me to travel through Asia with him next year, an invitation I accepted. This is merely an example of how uncertain our lives can be. As we each move to the next chapter, we realize that sometimes an unexpected and drastic change may be just what we need most. Remember to keep your mind open and don't let yourself be tied down by your own or others' past expectations. And lastly, the lessons. We leave high school much smarter than when we entered. Although our education is meant to come from the classes we take, I believe a deeper education comes from the experiences we all share. No matter if you struggled socially in high school or excelled, no matter if you read the entire AP US history textbook or had to retake algebra twice, no matter if you've been on varsity since freshman year or if you can barely walk a straight line, no matter who you are or what you did here, we leave high school together. We all came in as goofy freshmen, young and naive. We pretended to know that know what we were doing and we tried to act cool, but it was no secret that we were clueless. Throughout these last four years, we learned much about each other and about ourselves. We saw a glimpse of how the world works and we became seniors. So this evening, we think back on our days as a screaming mob of black. This evening, we are the leaders of our school. This evening, we exit into the world well prepared with the lessons we have learned here. Congratulations, class of 2014. We are done. We've earned it. Thank you. An American public high school is an amazing place. Within its halls walk students from all different backgrounds with diverse beliefs, ideals, and interests. But over the course of four years, this seemingly misfit group of teenagers forms an intangible bond. Since our first day at McMinnville High School, the members of the class of 2014 have created an undeniable relationship due to our rich traditions. Some we walked into, others we established ourselves. On September 7th, 2010, each of us entered MHS for the first time as a student. And as we walked anxiously through the courtyard toward the dread gym, we entered the infamous gauntlet. We nervously gave the link leaders high fives and tried to avoid all unnecessary eye contact. Two years later, many of us put on those neon yellow shirts and stood on the other side of the gauntlet, welcoming the newest Grizzlies. When we were sophomores, we were promoted from the wooden seats of Wartman Stadium to couches behind the north end zone, an important rite of passage to anyone who has walked these halls. We began to leave campus during lunch. Most of us resorted to walking while the lucky ones hitched rides with their older classmates. As juniors, we progressed to the opposite side of the gym at assemblies. We were no longer underclassmen. We took more rigorous classes and could almost claim to be the leaders of the school. Yet seemingly for our entire lives, we anxiously awaited the day where we would don the all black clothing at homecoming. One Friday this fall, we stood in the corral, each of us pushing to be closer to the front. We wore our black shirts, waved our senior flag, and made the most of our highly anticipated senior entrance. After piling into the crowded bleachers, Jordan Ferry began the national anthem. Each time the microphone gave out, more and more of us joined in, and midway through the song, a chorus of 2,000 voices filled the red gym. On a day where class divisions were so visible within our school, we stood united. Together, we prayed it off down Third Street to assemble, just as the classes before us had. 
During the winter, we filled the furnace at basketball games. We planned red outs and blackouts. We cheered for our classmates and did the roller coaster in between quarters. We witnessed a victory over Newburgh in a cross-county rivalry that will end with our class. We inherited so many customs, yet we still created our own. This year, we saw the formation of a unified sports team. We stood at games and assemblies and proudly cheered them on. We sang along to the best day of my life last week as we made our way around the school in our very own lip dub video. 40 years from now, we will probably not remember the de details of our days here, but we will undoubtedly recall the important moments that marked our high school experience. There is no question that the traditions that make MHS such a special place will stay with us forever. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, my fellow class of 2014, congratulations. You did it. You made it. Seniors, it is our moment now. This is an exciting time for all of us. After four eventful years in this building, between 15th and 17th in Evans and Hembry, we prepare, we prepare ourselves for the end. The end of our K through 12 education. The end of working at the action corner. The end of AP exams. The end of prom. The end of homecoming week. And the end of the legendary dance-offs in Mr. Munker's classroom. <laughs> Indeed, this is an exciting time. In the spirit of graduation and moving onward, I have a few words to share from the great Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You'll Go. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy, or gal, who will decide where to go. And it's our decision now. We've made it to graduation, and with our diplomas waiting for us on this stage, our ticket to freedom is only several nervous breaths, racing heartbeats, and exciting moments away. This ticket will send some of us to college, some in-state, some out-of-state. Some of us will take this, free, this ticket to freedom and enjoy independence, going straight into the workforce. Some of us will take this ticket and travel around the world, to Europe, to Asia, or maybe to South America. But wherever your destination may be, it is important that you know what items you should pack in your suitcase before you take off into the future ahead. Pack your goals, your ambitions, and your craziest, wildest dreams. As we move onward into our independent lives, remember every day to do what fills you with happiness. Pack your memories. Think back to our first week of freshman year, how much we've grown since then. Think back to how your first footstep, footsteps felt shaky and unstable through the hallways of McMinnville High School, surrounded by 2,000 unfamiliar faces, 422 of which are here today. Look around you now. 422 graduates. Some of us met freshman year, or maybe just last year. Some of us have been friends since seventh grade, and some even since preschool. Although the time has come for teary-eyed goodbyes, let us remember the laughs, the movie nights, the photographs, the losses, 
and the buzzer beater victories, the basketball games, the band trips, the relationships built, the mistakes made and the lessons learned, the Friday night football games, the highs and the lows, the good and the bad times, all of these moments together. We have been taught endless amounts in classrooms and on sports fields, but together we have gained even more. By now, your bags are nearly full, but there is one item left that you should leave room for. Looking back on the years leading up to the 6th of June, 2014, there have been specific individuals who have been there for all of us and supported us along our way. Remind yourself of those who guided you on your way to where you are today. Many of them sit in the chairs or stand right behind you. So as we venture off into the great world ahead of us, let us leave room in all of our suitcases for gratitude. Let us thank our teachers whose dedication to teach helped us to understand mitosis and meiosis, to know the causes of World War I, to create music with our voices, hands, and feet, to find X, and to be experts on how to learn, how to think, and how to grow. Thank your coaches who helped us become stronger, faster, and better team players. Thank your parents, your brothers, and your sisters, your grandparents, your aunts, and your uncles for encouraging us and helping us every step of the way. So my friends, this is the moment that we've been so long awaiting. With our bags packed, we have made it to our terminal, and now we part ways to find our gates. Understandably, some of us are a bit nervous for what is to come. For after today, we may never again dance in a giant sweaty mosh pit at MORP or at Project Mac. After today, we may never again be able to drag race Mitch in his speedy golf cart. After today, my friends, we will no longer be students of McMinnville High School. But we will forever be Grizzlies. The end of an outstanding time in high school has come, but the beginning of bigger and brighter and more remarkable endeavors has arrived along with it. So seniors, my fellow class of 2014, let us begin. Thank you.
Kanyu Nikairo is a Kenyan lullaby. And how appropriate for this passionate group of young people behind me to start with shh, 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 shh. And then get, uh, Professor Dan Buckfitch turns it into the dance of life using the percussion of Africa. And we just wish you well as you dance on with that nurturing of a lullaby. Kanye Nikaro.
Superintendent Russell, Vice Chair Gibson, and members of the board, I present to you for receipt of their graduation diplomas, the class of 2014. Good evening. My name is Mark Bunker. I teach psychology and economics. And I am honored to begin reading the names of the 2014 graduates. Nathan Robert Lossman. Jordan Potter Rosenberry, Lucy K. Belleville, Hunter Joseph Abbott, Hadi Abdullah, Christopher Alexis Acevedo, Julian Aaron Acevedo. Garrett Thomas Adams. Jose Alberto Aguilar. Miguel Angel Aguilar. Jordan Alexander Aikens. Travis Edwards Allen. Luis Fernando Amador. Good evening. My name is Jared Larson, and I had the privilege to teach science and natural resources management courses to this senior class. And I am extremely honored to read the names of the following graduates of McMinnville High School. George E. Beresford III. Bryce Matthew Anderson. Mark Lee Anderson. Cassandra Araceli Anguiano. Jessica Arcega. Eustace Art. Chiharo Asai. Stephanie Lynn Osmus. Paige Leanne Autry. Efren Avalos. Charisma Fern Baker. Anastasia Lynn Bakewell. Marcus Angeles. Good evening. My name is Don Rutschman, and I'm involved with both the PE and the health departments here at McMinnville High School. Jacob Lloyd Bannister. Kaylee Baller. Benjamin David Barlow. John Thomas Barnes. Chelsea K. Beard. Luis Ray Bossarial Perez. 
Connor Isaiah Bechtol. Kelsey Joanne Bennett Evans. Angel Bersier. Lauren Louise Bernards. Jamie Nicole Bevan. Bethany Ivy Billings. Braden Tyler Bodkin. Congratulations, graduates, and welcome to your families that have come to celebrate your success. My name is Michael Robertson, and I am privileged to share the wonders of mathematics with these fine young people. Tonight, I have the great honor of reading the names of a few of McMinnville's newest shining stars. Austin Wayne Bettis. Naraya Tane Butler. Alex Birmingham. Erica Dawn Burt. Sophia Elizabeth Bispochi. Kayla Bishop. Emily Marie Bliven. Amber Kaylin Bonds. Lucky Borgans. Kayla Ann Bowers. Tyler Jordan Branson. Chelsea Lynn Brooks. And Vincent Patrick Bowman. Good evening. My name is Pamela Kennedy. I have the privilege of regularly and enjoyably torturing students by teaching them math. It is my honor to read the names of the following graduates. Jeremiah Brophy. Ryan Bricks. Bryce Edward Brooker. Alexander Kelly Brown. Holly Elizabeth Brunello. Dakota Elizabeth Bueller. Dominique Burden. Jessica Bush. Tristan Daniel Butte. Aaron Robert Cahill. Eduardo Camarillo Pena. Stephanie Cantera Leon. Everardo Cadron Nambo. Congratulations, graduates. My name is Carrie Savage, and I teach English and leadership here at McMinnville High School. I speak honestly on behalf of everybody here, class of 2014. We love you with our whole hearts. It is my privilege to read the following names. Andrew Dalton Carr. Vanessa Marie Caudell. Sopi Nama Chai Sumbunpan. 
Adrian Chavez. Anna Chen. Aaron Marie Chitwood. Keegan Michael Cassidy. Naeli Maldonado Cervera. Augustine Chan. Adam Eric Walter Clark. Nathan Andrew Clevenger. Brandon William Clint Daniel. William Ryan Coleman. Dakota Lee Coker. Thomas Junior Coburn. Eduardo Colombari. Nicolina Ann Conover. Janissa Linnell Cordy. Samantha Rain Cosgrove. Alexander Dylan Cranmer. Kaylee Ann Morgan Cox. Michael Alexander Cox. Sabrina Sky Craig. Daniel Kasinke. Mackenzie Hope Davis. Isaac Kane Coleman. Emily De Las Heras. Thomas Del Angel. Michaela Ashley Demo. Daniel J. Denton. Christopher Adam Derrickson. Moises Diaz. Kyler Dale Dickey. Ryan Allen Dix. Tanner Curtis Doran. Timothy Paul Doherty. Jill Dornan. Pia Lena Drescher. Serena Don Dressel. Isaac David Doty. Karina Michelle Drobish. Lorenzo Duran Jr. Annika Marie East. Brandon Edwards. Ricky Chase Edwards. Shasta LaVey Earhart. Courtney Jean Ellsbury. Okay. Haley Jean Marie Eltrich. Jensen Michelle Espinola. Marcelina Danielle Estrada. 
Austin Dale Ewing. Noah Taylor Dundas. Alicia Renee Firth. Esmeralda Fajardo. Alyssa Nicole Felty. Jordan Alexi Ferry. Christian Finsend. Mason Fitzgerald. Anna Patricia Flores. Pablo Flores. Hope Jolene Flores Austin. Daniela Sarai Flores Torres. Travis Taylor Foster. Zachary Tyler Fuller. <laughs> Diana Garcia Ponce. Joseph Chevy Gage. Israel Garcia Villafuerte. Areli Vanessa Garcia. Brian Fabian Garcia. Jose Garcia. Myra Alondra Garcia. Rainy Joel Gash. Tori George. Adam James Gibson. Stephen David Gilliatt. Emiliano Giraldo Sanchez. Jennifer Gomez Lopez. Erica Garcia Elias. Trinity Ann Godwin. Wyatt Gregory. Joshua Eugene Granger. Aiden Perfecto Grimaldo. Kayla Ann Grindy. Vincent Grove. Leslie Gutierrez. Mackenzie Marie Hamilton. Moira Fiona Hampson. Elizabeth Brianna Hampton. Jordan David Hancock. Gage Sherman Gubrud. Aaron Henderson. Bodie James Harrington. Tabitha Danielle Harwood. Jessica Lynn Henry and Arosa Hernandez 
Jenny Hernandez. Tyler William Hernandez. Angela Lisbeth Hernandez Sendejas. Nelson Hidalgo. Colette Lorraine Hidden. Marianne Height. Camry Anise Hogard. Jean Louise Holdridge. AJ K. Andrew Masaki Huffer. Adam Yuhua Hughes. Jacob Austin Hughes. Kayla Danae Hulse. Janie Ann Marie Humphreys. David Bernard Ingham. Katrina Jean Jacobs. Julia Elizabeth Jacobucci. Kelsey Pauline James. Ashley Ann Jansen. Donald Jacob. Karen Jasmine Yaquez Rodriguez. Marina Renee Jorgensen. Christopher Scott Johnson. Samantha Ann Johnson. Alexander Elias Justice. Braley Marianne Connie. Olivia Laurie Katz. Joshua David Kaufman Mendenhall. Cody Richard Kemp. Michelle Renee Kim. Kristen Victoria King. Andrew Klein. Jordan Nicole Kenyon. Basha Julia Kopeka. Ashley Marissa Canola. Kendra Ray Croker. Alexander Kuhn. Brandon Joseph Ligatuta. Allison Rose Lake. Josiah Landis. Arisa Chante Larme Barrientos. Kyle Jason Lawson. Emma Rose Lead. Nicole Suzanne Long. Brian Theodore Lewis. Juan Carlos Leal. Jonathan Lomelli. Jonathan. 
Yvette Yerenas Mendoza. Miguel Angel Lopez. Melanie Paola Lopez Anaya. Patrick Lohman. Charlie Daniel Lowe. Emily Leandra Elaine Lucas. Crystal Renee Elizabeth Lukens. Shara Renee Long. Justin James Lake. Nash Michael Latrell. Iridian Madrigal. Roberto Magallon. Serengeti Piper Savage. Yuhang Zhao. <laughs> Catherine Yamos Alamedo. Verena Malfatiner. Diana Edith Mencia. Cameron Scott Markham. Carrie Mariano. Armando Martinez Escobar. Margarita Martinez. Maria Salud Martinez. Raul Martinez Ponce. Kaylee Joe Magestro. Leslie Elizabeth Manriquez. Alyssa Irene Lauren Maurer. Yesenia Serna. Ida Mateasen. Madeline Elise Mayo. Amanda Christine McConkie. Catherine Marie McConkie. Royce Donato Markham. Is this Sean or JP? What? Okay, you weren't here this morning. Sean Michael McCready. <laughs> Sorry about that. J.P. McCrory. Nicholas Switzer McDaniel. Christian Medina. Alondra Mendez Acevedo. Marcus Joseph Arthur McGuire. Kaylee Rose McManus. 
Estefanie Mendoza. Frank Mendoza. Juan Mendoza. Myra Mendoza. Leighton Mickey. Emma Claire Milburn. Phelan Eric Earl Miller. Kristen Jean Menard. Ray Stephen Anthony Malou. Yan Mo. Jaime Monero. Sierra Nicole Mitchell. Asher Douglas Moman. Braden Allen Molman. Jordan M. Maleras. Giovanni Molina. Caitlin Diane Monaghan. J. Roger Monte Orozco. Beatrice Adriana Morales. Nikita Cassandra Morgan. Kerrigan Elise Morton. Charles Byron Minch. Jose Mauricio Moniz. Alex Neil Moy. Cynthia Mortia. Haley Milita Myers. Justin Omar Navarro. Emily Jane Neal. Maggie Ng. Emma Beatrice Nixon. Wesley Redmond Noble. Catherine Marie Norman. Annika Marie Nyquist. Wayne Roland Newton. Austin Nutraxa. Aliyah Olage. Kieran Olson. Sierra Rochelle Olson. Jessica Ordaz. Shelly Ann Ordonia. Jessica Grace Orleneta. Luis Orsonio. Cesar Alejandro Pantoja Pascual. Brandon Lee Parks. Dakota Justice Parr. Yeah. 
Victor Garth Mano Osling. Molly Ann Olson. Helen Lorraine Paddock. Megan Maria Parr. Omar Partida. Madison Alexandra Patton. Alexis Reina Perez. Miguel Angel Perez Flores. Anthony M. Parizo. Andrea Marie Fall. Kayla Marie Pearson. Jeffrey Alexander Pittman. Efren Manuel Plancarte. Levi James Polisek. Edgar Perez Vargas. Devon Cole Robinson. Anna Barbara Ponce. Antonio Ponce. John Daniel Ponce. Daphne Elena Plumo. Jacob Robert Porter. Matthew Gage Potter. Kaylee Elizabeth Powell. Stephen James Prouse. Jessica Michelle Primrose. Anton Hakob Ramick. Gerardo Ramirez. Darby Dylan Ramos. Nicole Lynn Reeves. Juan Jose Ramirez. Kaya May Rasmussen. Andrew Clark Reichenberger. Kelly Teresa Renshaw. Francisco Xavier Resendez. Lota Carolina Reale. Daniel Rivas. Tiffany Andrian Robinson. Omar Alexander Roblas. Sonia Rodriguez. Luis Angel Rodriguez. Leslie Ramirez. Paola Reyos. Jasmine Aaron Rojas. Eric Andre Rodriguez. Samuel T. Ramosco. Grant Thomas Rebedo. Wow. 
Andrea Alexa Rubio. Blanca Estela Rubio. Umberto Saldana Arias. Pedro Saldana Arias. Sandra Salinas. Alan Sanchez. Victoria Augustina Santiago. Andres Rene Rosales. Erica Sho Powell Sato. Lorena Isabella Santos Gonzaga. Miguel Angel Santoyo. Benjamin Holden Schieber. <laughs> Bijou Lynn Olivine Schoner. Morgan Christine Schoenthal. <laughs> Tess Louise Scott. Alexander George Secor. Laureen Seibel. Amanda Ray Scheller. Brianna Tifa Tiller. Tyler Stevens. KJ Bradford Smith. Milo Selanpa. Amanda Simonson. Seb Singh. Austin Allen Seitel. Emily Vallon Smith. Nicole Summer. Jonathan Andrew Spence. Rebecca Lindsay Stevens. Crystal Sky Stores. Kayla Nicole Stevenson. Garrett Jess Stolp. Kyle David Stevenson. Isaiah Vincent Suarez Ortiz. Mariah Justin Leroy Shoemaker. Mariah Kaylee Suarez. Donovan Monroe Sullivan. Emily Joyce Swick. Jacinda Love Swiger. Julia Elizabeth Taylor. Robert Daniel Thomas. Samantha Grace Town. 
Lydia Pauline Thompson. Lauren Marie Olvang. Timothy Jake Tatton. Tristan Scott Thayer. Vani Christian Umagat. Sarai Veronese Valencia Villa. Pedro Valero Sanchez. Melissa Vega. Mason Ashley Van Horn. Angela Carmen Van Sickle. Christina Lynn Viles. Aurelio Isoname Villasenor. Jelena Sari Douglas Vaughn. Shelby Renee Waddell. Tristan Thomas Verste. Jacob Westgard. Lori Ann Wagner. Katrina Noel Waterhouse. Nathaniel Martin Wint. Zinyu Wee. Audrey Rose Waite. Benjamin August Whiting. Lacey Lynn Denise Wilbur. Olivia Marie Williams. Karina Lene Wilms. Kimberly Elizabeth Wilson. Nicole Irene Wolf. Carrie Raylin Williams. Rebecca Nicole Wood. Corey Stephen Worledge. Mackenzie Marie Wright. Syrea Hope Wynn. Brenda Isabel Yanez. Roman James Yoder. Johanna Cherie Zimmerman. Esmeralda Jacqueline Zuniga. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the final graduate, the class of 2014, Daniel Zhu. Congratulations, Daniel. I told him today that it would be quite an experience to get a standing ovation by 5,000 people tonight. Although one member of the class of 2014 is not with us this evening, physically, but we know that he's here in spirit.
Daniel Burlett passed away in July 2012, just prior to the start of his junior year. And Daniel, we do have that one last diploma for you tonight. Congratulations. We know you're here with us. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you McMinnville High School's 104th graduating class. You can let them fly. <laughs> 